This is uh, Tommy Gill, Tommy G, coming to you from Las Vegas. I'm actually in Henderson, actually, but Las Vegas metro area. I'm talking today because anybody that wants to move somewhere that they want to move to, like Las Vegas, Phoenix, L.A., wherever, the first thing you should do is plan it out, you know. Make sure, you know, you have it planned out, you know, a year, maybe six months, three months, you know, when I moved to Phoenix, you know, I moved to Phoenix in two months, October of 2006, you know, when my sister was moving to Phoenix. I, um, I'm like, I'm going with you, you know, well, it really was almost three months, but you know, October, 20, tw uh, not 2016, 2000, 2006, you know, you know, when my sister was moving, I said I was going, and then December uh, 23rd, you know, it was on, you know. I was on the road to Phoenix, and then I got to Phoenix December 24th. So, And then Las Vegas, you know, I actually, it was like a, a month and a week. October 2015, you know, I'm like, I'm moving to Las Vegas, and then like the, the end of the first week of November, I was in Las Vegas. I mean, uh, I transferred my job there. When I got to Vegas, you know, it took a while to find a second job, but I was going to school online. So uh, the, the money from school, you know, I used that to help me out with my bills. Plus, you know, work, working at Walmart, too. So that helped me out, you know. But um, if, if you plan on moving somewhere, you know, do it, you know. Don't hold back. If you have family, you know. Make sure your family, you know, is good about it. I mean, I mean, like, if you married or whatever, because, like, if you single, you know, have brothers and sisters or cousins or whatever, a lot of them will try to hate on you, you know, but once you do it, you know, then that, that'd be like you're serious, you know, about it. Don't let nobody hate on you. Like, I know my friends didn't want, didn't want me to move to Phoenix. My, I know my mama, you know, she, she was okay with it, though, but I, I know she missed me being in Little Rock. I mean, my my daddy, when he was alive, he did miss me too, you know. I did talk to him on the phone from time to time. Um, matter of fact, I need to call my grandma still love my mom. I need to call her because I haven't talked to her in a while. But, you know, they, they miss me, you know. I have a, a couple of cousins that's hating on me right now because I don't know what their problem is. But, you know, but my family in Little Rock miss me. You know, my friends in Phoenix miss me. Cause I'm in Vegas, you know, but I mean, I try to see who I can, you know, I mean, I talk to people on Facebook, you know, I have their phone numbers and everything, you know, but it's a big step, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a responsible person, you know, I try to, you know, help myself, you know, I mean, if, if you need help, that's fine. As long as you're helping yourself, you know, you can get help from people, but don't, don't help people. I mean, don't get help from people to try to use them. Don't do that. That's not good. Cause they'll come back on you. But anyway, uh, if you don't move, move, you know, it's better to be independent, you know, it's good to get help along to help yourself, you know, don't, uh, don't give up, you know, don't let people hate on your dreams, um, save money, you know, um, see how much it costs to get a U-Haul if you go move your stuff, like, when when I moved to Fiends, it took me like four years to move, move, you know, the stuff that I wanted to take, you know. I did have a truck, you know, when I moved to Fiends, but I wrecked it. And then the rest of, you know, I brought it in my car that I had my Buick Century to Phoenix, you know, every, I brought stuff. I didn't bring, like, big furniture, but I brought, like, stuff, you know, like like documents and that type of stuff, you know, easy stuff. I, I, I just, every year I went to Little Rock, I, I, I moved stuff every year to Phoenix, and then when I moved to Vegas, you know, I had a pickup truck, so I kept my stuff in storage, and, and then every time I went to Phoenix, you know, to get my stuff to bring to Vegas, I I, I had my truck, like, packed down, tied down and everything. I'm, I lost uh, probably a one a run red bag, you know. I lost that because it, cause it fell out of my truck, you know, but I have pretty much everything, you know, that I got from Phoenix. You know, I did leave some stuff like a heavy ass couch because I couldn't take it upstairs. I left a dresser in store. I, I let storage happen, but I pretty much brought everything, you know. 
but um, don't let people get away your dreams, you know. Uh, and if you're moving to uh, like Phoenix or Las Vegas, you, if you work in the food industry, you got to have like a, a health card. Las Vegas, uh, they also have like TAM cards, which is working around alcohol, selling alcohol if you're a cashier. Um, I think when grocery store, you have to have a TAM card too. Uh, also, working casinos, you got to have like a, a sheriff's card. It's kind of like a fingerprint card. You know, you, you just do your background. You, you pay You pay for, you know, I think like $120. I, I know a TAM card is $20. A health card, when I got it the first time for Las Vegas, it was 40 but when I renewed it, it was $20. And Phoenix is $20. Um, but in a way, check on that stuff. You go move, you know, because you have to have it when you start working. Or some jobs may give you a chance to, to get. You know, I know, I know. Things, you know, when I uh, got a job at Safeway, I got it out after I got hired. But a lot of places, you know, they want you to have it before you start. You know, so it's better to have everything. You know, and if you can't transfer a job, you know, if you try to interview on the phone, you can't not visit the place before you move there. And do the interview, and then hopefully they'll hire you, you know. And then, um, you know, move, you know, and then just make sure you have enough money saved. Just make sure, you know, you're ready to do it. Have confidence in yourself. Don't let nobody get in your way of your dreams. And that's, that's it. This is Tommy G, Tommy Gill, and I'm out.